Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about uh, Pennsylvania and what's going on up there as the mystery deepens and the federal government's operations continue to roll on. So reporting is saying that several members of the state House and Senate, um, all Republicans, were visited by the Federal Bureau of Investigation, or they were given subpoenas. Now, it's interesting to note that some of them were apparently explicitly told that they were not targets of the investigation. In a related development, Scott Perry um, has said in a statement that his lawyers were told that he's not a target of the investigation and that he's directed his lawyers to cooperate, make sure the feds can get whatever they need as long as it's not protected by speech and debate clause, you know, stuff like that. Um, all of this tracks. Remember when we talked about it, I think yesterday, uh, I said it was weird because it appears that this investigation is being run by the Department of Justice, OIG, the Office of Inspector General. Perry never worked for DOJ, so they would be looking for somebody else. So it's unsurprising that uh, he, he's not a target. This is a good point to bring this up, though, because while in this case these labels won't necessarily change, um, there are different terms, witness, person of interest, subject, target. They all mean different things, and they're fluid terms. Um, the way the Department of Justice views somebody and what category they're in changes as new information presents itself. In this case, because it is an investigation run by the OIG, they're going to have a narrow scope of what they're looking for. But in other cases, just because you hear somebody initially say, oh, no, I was told I was a witness, I was a subject, that might change at a later date. So it's important to keep that in mind as these movements continue to happen because there are certainly people who believe that they aren't targets who may end up being targets as the investigations progress. Um, this is another sign that DOJ is just rolling along regardless of political claims that are being made. They're just doing their job. Now, this investigation, best guess, again, we don't know this, but best guess is this has to do with the fake electors scheme or maybe the pressure campaign against Pence. Uh, right now, all the coverage is focused on the classified material investigation. Um, it's important to remember that there's a bunch of other investigations going on. And there are a, there are a lot of people who might be involved in multiple prongs of that investigation, and there might be a lot of overlap. So just bear that in mind when information comes out. So anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.